In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do la LaTeX macros. So LaTeX macros is kind of a way to do shortcuts in LaTeX. So what I've done over here is open up an article class document. I've used this package, but I don't need this just yet. And then I said begin document and then said equation, blah. So in this case, integrate from zero to infinity of x dx. Uh, so for the maths nerds, you would know that this the this diverges, but anyway, that's besides the point. Now suppose that you had to write this in, uh, this integration over and over again in your document. It just keeps on coming up. Now what you can do, if that uh, that is the case, is write a macro. And the way that you do this is you write slash new command. Okay, and then it comes with a CMD and a definition thing. So CMD is a command that you're going to call it. So I'm going to call it integrate. Uh, now, if you write integrate over here, int is already a defined thing in, in LaTeX or it's used in some sort of package, right? So I can't use int by itself, so I'm going to call it C int. So C, I just put the C in front to call a command. You don't have to, but, uh, but you, what you can't do is call it int again because you're trying to overwrite this uh, previous definition. Okay, so the definition is going to be, I'm going to just going to copy this and paste it over here. So control C and paste it. Okay. Now when we come up to a new equation, I'm going to instead of writing all of this, I'm just gonna write slash C int. Okay, and now if I do this again, um, you you should be able to see so new equation is same thing but a lot less effort. Okay, so you should be using this if if it repeats. Okay, so uh, now that's one way of using it. Now let's let's uh, try using a figure. Now I'm going to say um, begin figure. So this was why I was using the graphics package, and then I'm going to say include graphics. And I, I already have this picture of a bear. Let me say caption. Oh, so, so forget about that. The, I, I guess it's going to show me a preview over there. And the caption uh, bears. Although it seems it's just one bear. Um, and then the label. I'm going to say fig bear. Okay, so that that took me a bit of an effort to write all of that. Okay, so if now if I'll just show you just the result, so uh, maybe I should zoom out. But anyway, so that there's there's a bear right there. Okay, let me just zoom out. Okay, that's better. Okay, so it's it's got the caption, or the capital B bears. All right. So anyway, now instead of writing all of this, I'm going to write a. Um, write a macro but the the thing over here is that I need to be able to take in arguments right so this thing always changes every time I, I do a new uh, new picture so I'm going to say new command but this time um, okay let's so let me I want to call this pick I guess a pick for picture but because I need to take in commands I'm going to take in two commands and, the, and that's the name of the picture and the uh, and the caption. Okay, so so let this let these brackets be like this. Okay, so in between is where I'm going to write. So you're going to say begin figure, right? And then um, inside it's going to be include graphics. Sorry, oops, what's going on? Um, include graphics. And okay, so when, when it says name, and remember how I said that it's going to be taking two arguments. The first one is going to be the the name of the picture, the so the JPEG or whatever format that you saved it. It's going to be include graphics number one. So hash one is going to be your first argument, and then I'm going to say caption is going to be my second argument. Okay, so hash two, and then of course you'd probably want a label, but uh, with label, I could have a third argument. But what I'm going to probably better to do uh, use re reuse the first argument so the name of the picture okay so fig 
uh, hash one. Okay, so that's that's just the way that I use it. So uh, now that I got this new command pick, let me just do, redo this again. So I'm just going to write pick, and it comes up with argument one and argument two. So the first argument is going to be bear, and the second argument I'm going to say wave waving. I don't know why I'm writing capitals, but just keep going with that waving bears okay and then so it's just one line for all of this instead of having to write let's see five lines let's compile this and see what it's done there you go okay so waving bear um, so th that's my second picture all right okay and that's it for this tutorial if you have any questions or comments please let me know please like this video and subscribe and uh, thanks for watching